Hello everybody, this is Tihomir with the JVPM team and in this video I will show you another demo based on the JVPM business applications and as usual uh, star.jvpm.org is your starting point to build your business apps um, you can either configure one yourself or generate uh, your application using default values with just a single button click um, alright so in this demo uh, we will use um, a work item, a JPM work item, which is contributed uh, by our one of our community members, uh, Prasad Nair. We want to thank him very much for the contribution, first of all. And uh, we will use the Apache Kafka work item. Uh, again, this was contributed um, by community. And, um, you know, it makes sense to show it off using a pretty cool demo. It's a small demo, but it shows off uh, what JPM and JPM using JPM work items can uh, allow you to do within your business processes. Um, I have also my JPM work item repository running, um, and here we can see that the Kafka work item has a single handler. It is called the Kafka Publish Message Handler. Um, and, um, you know, with that you can go ahead and in your business processes, during the business process execution, publish messages to a specific topic on a running Apache Kafka server. So let's go ahead and start our demo and then I will uh, talk more about it. Um, where is my... All right, so I'm going to stop my... Um, uh, work item repository and this is just following the Apache Kafka's quick start so in order to get this uh, demo up and running you can come here uh, kafkaapache.org forward slash quick start and it will tell you where to download the, the code and the next steps that we'll be doing are step by step step two three and four uh, and then we will see uh, how we will also start a consumer um, and a publisher as well. So what I'm going to first do locally is start uh, Zookeeper. And that's pretty quick. Um, this command here, also from the quick start, will start the Kafka server for me. Um, this is all with default settings. There is nothing uh, going on. And so with that, I'm pretty much done. Um, I do, I can here create a producer with this command and also consumer, but um, we will do that um, at the end of the video. So right now um, I have my uh, business application and we'll go through the source code in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and start it. As usual, you have your three uh, modules, which is the KJAR, the model and the service module. I will go to my service module and use my launch script um, in order to build my application and also the launch script will go ahead and start my service app. Alright, so there's some updates from Maven. And let's see how long this takes. So again, the launch script, you'll get a launch script for the Unix environment, the launch.sh. Um, your default generated business application also will include the Windows launch script, the launch.bat, which you can use in a Windows environment. All right, so I guess Nexus decided to send us a bunch of updates, but now the main modules are built and once they're built, you will see that the launch script will uh, go ahead and start up our Spring Boot app. So let's wait on that for a second. Alright, so let's look at that. That's going to start up in a second. Um, uh, there's some non-related errors, but we'll fix that. But the application should start fine with demo. 
All right, so now that we have started application, um, our Spring Boot Kafka integration has um, connected to our Kafka server, and um, I will show you specifically where the configuration is for that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our app now. We can access it with localhost 8090. And this is pretty much it. What we have here is a simple form where you can enter in a city name and a country. And we want to show the current temperature uh, for this, you know, the location that you're entering here. The way um, this application works is when we press on show current temperature, um, our application is going to start a business process. Our business process um, takes in the city name in the country, uh, uses the open weather map uh, JPM work item to access openweathermap.org and retrieves the weather information and then sends it to the Kafka work item uh, which basically takes those numbers so the current temperature, uh, the max for the day and the minimum temperature uh, for today that open weather map has given us and uh, sends it to our Kafka server on a specific topic. Our business application then has also a consumer which uh, consumes messages for that topic, receives the consumer, gets the information, the weather information, and basically just sends it via WebSockets, uh, publishes that information via WebSocket to a WebSocket topic, and our UI picks that up. So it's very dynamic. There is no <coughs> page refresh or anything. So let's take a look. For example, I'm just going to use my Atlanta, United States. Uh, so again, when I... Uh, okay, let's actually see. We can actually come here and start um, a consumer. This one listens to our uh, topic that we specified. Actually, we don't want topic test. Actually, let's go to our business application and see what our topic name is. Our Kafka config, our topic is called WX data. So let's change that. All right. So now we are, this is stuff that I've done before uh, since we started said from the beginning, but let's go, go ahead and uh, listen to only new stuff coming in. So when I press current temp, um, as you can see, we our chart has updated to show the current temperature in Atlanta, the max for today and the min for today. And our and you can see here our um, consumer, which listens to the same um, Kafka topic as our web application, has received the data. So for example, if we uh, do Boston, for example, now, which would be much colder. All right, we see the chart updates automatically, and here we have received this weather information in our Kafka topic. So now let's take a look at the code a little bit. Um, all the configuration that you need for both WebSocket and our Kafka is done in our, your a business application application properties file. Here you can define your uh, WebSocket topic, your endpoint, um, and uh, same thing for Kafka. Um, you have your topic here and where the running server is. I'm running the server locally. Uh, this is the default port for that, localhost 9092. But if you have your Kafka server running on a different port, you can configure this uh, demo to also um, hook up to that. So the application is fairly simple. I'm going to the, go to the code quickly. We have two configuration classes. This uses the Spring Boot um, integration with both WebSockets and Kafka. So it's fairly straightforward. For the WebSockets, we basically just register an endpoint, which is again defined in our application properties as the WebSocket endpoint. And um, that's pretty much it for the WebSocket uh, configuration. 
our Kafka configuration um, does pretty much the same. It generates the consumer factory uh, and the listener factory for um, <clears throat> our Kafka server. Uh, again, given the uh, Kafka config in your application properties. We also define one service. This is our Kafka consumer service. This is the service that actually listens to um, the Kafka topic, which again is live WX data, which we send the, the, the weather information to from our uh, work item handler. And all this guy does is takes the message, which is the payload, and um, sends it to the WebSocket topic that we defined. On our front end, if we look at our index.html, we use um, Socket.js and Stomp to listen to this WebSocket uh, endpoint, so we subscribe to it. And as new information, new data, weather information arrives, uh, we're basically taking it, we split it. Uh, as you can see, the information is comma separated here as the current uh, temperature, the max and the min. Uh, we split it and we update our chart with that information. So that's pretty much the basic of our application. And again, this is very dynamic, so let's say we put, I don't know, Los Angeles should be warmer weather here. Yes, yeah, you see the charts updates without page refresh, without anything. And we have our Los Angeles weather in our Kafka listener here. Another cool thing that we can do is we can actually also start um, a producer. So this, uh, instead of, for example, this is the same thing that our work item does in the business process, which is also a producer, basically. It sends information to uh, a topic uh, on the Kafka server. So doing this, we can basically simulate what our work item does. And basically, where is this? Okay, here we are. So <laughs> I wanted to show you, I just sent 0, 0, 0. But with the producer, if I send 10, 11, 12, basically now I'm sending this weather information uh, to our Kafka topic, and we should see our chart update, as you can see it does. So basically, you know, you can uh, play with this and, and, and see that uh, how you can manually send or have multiple uh, consumers and multiple producers, uh, especially here uh, using Kafka. Uh, again, let's try five comma minus five comma six, and you can see our charts is going to update to that. Uh, even though we didn't change, we didn't trigger our business process uh, through this method, but we can see that our um, work item, the JPM Kafka work item, X is a producer of uh, messages to a specific Kafka topic. So let's go back to our way of actually uh, calling our business process and that's it. So this is a small demo. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it gives you some ideas of how powerful uh, the integration of JVPM business applications is, especially using different work items that we have. If we look back here, we're adding more um, work items all the time. Uh, we, again, <laughs> thanks to our community contribution for the Kafka work item. I hope there is going to be more in the future. And, uh, you know, these little demos, uh, we're going to have more coming. And I hope we're doing them so you guys can have better uh, or ha get some ideas of how to start with business applications, JPM business apps, and also give you some ideas on how to create your own um, demos and, and powerful apps that you can use yourself. So I hope you enjoy, guys enjoy this and um, have a great day. Thanks.